This is a challenging vinyasa yoga practice for your luteal phase. This is a time in the cycle where we see a bit of an increase in our baseline metabolism, meaning we do have energy to burn, but we're already using more than we were in the first half of the cycle. So rather than tapping into explosive energy or really um, kind of quick moving uh, practices, we are shifting into more of a slower space where we are generating lots of strength lots of heat, but we're doing it slowly from the inside out. With that, this practice does come in a bit longer. It takes time to chip away and to create the space in the body to move into a deeper exploration of some of these postures. Our key action today is rotation in the spine, is a deep twisting of the spine. There are a lot of reasons to enjoy these twists during the luteal phase. They sort of complement the natural pull of our attention and our awareness inward. We're sort of moving into our, um, our second half, our nesting phase of the cycle. And twists have that quality to them, a pull, a gravitation inward. They also help create circulation and massage for the abdominal organs, which can sort of facilitate metabolizing excess estrogen that builds up in the first half of the cycle. So we're really just um, aiming to enhance the body's natural rhythm, the body's natural functions that are happening during this time in the cycle. This is an advanced yoga practice. And what we mean by that is it is a physically demanding and challenging practice. So it works best when you have a, a foundation of yoga postures and breath already in place. You can jump in, certainly, if this is your first taste of yoga, but we are going to explore lots of single leg balance postures, lots of postures that require um, a bit of mobility and flexibility in the legs and even in the shoulders. So just a, a note of kind of gentle caution there that if you are entering this as a fairly new practitioner to yoga, just be gentle with yourself and modify as needed. In the luteal phase, this is where the true practice of cycle alignment begins because we are asked to slow down. We are asked to rest and to really listen to the signals from our body. So you'll be invited to do that throughout this practice today. All you will need today is a mat. It can be handy to have a block, especially as we move into some standing twists and uh, single leg balance postures, just to bring the, the height of the floor up a touch. This is a longer practice that has a natural warming and cooling sequence in it, so no warm up or cool down provided today. And let's get started with today's movement practice. We are going to get started with our movement practice today in this deep exploration of the twisting and rotation action in the spine. So to begin, we'll start with a few standing postures to open the side channels of the body. Super important as we move into rotation to have length first. So we'll start there, let your feet be about hips width distance apart. Step your right foot to the outside of your left, reach your arms overhead, big inhale. Take your right wrist with your left fingertips, stretch up and over to the left. Really press down through the right foot. Feel length in the right side waist. So we're starting nice and slow, just creating some awareness in the side body. Inhale, come through center. Bend the knees deeply, so it's a bit awkward with the legs crossed, but see if you can create a bend in the knees. And as you exhale, fold over the legs. As you fold, press evenly through all four corners of both feet. And here, we wanna feel a stretch in the outer legs along the IT band. Tilt the pelvis forward, shift the weight into the ball mounds of your feet, and then root down through the inner edges of both feet. From here, begin to shift weight into your left foot. We'll just switch the cross, so sweep your right foot now behind the left, right leg behind the left. So that same stretch now on the other side, rooting down evenly through both feet. 
bending the knees as much or as little as feels good, shifting the weight forward so that you're over the ball mounds of your feet. Nice bend in the knees as you slowly rise up, reach the arms overhead, this time taking the left wrist with the right fingertips, lean up and over to the right. So really just creating some traction by gently elongating the arm so that you feel length all the way from the toes up the side body. Come through center, inhale. And then as you exhale, let your hands rest by your sides, uncross your legs. We'll come to the top of the mat now, continuing to warm the body through sun salutations, kind of this traditional entry to a yoga practice. As you inhale, sweep the arms up, connect body and breath, deep bend in the knees as you exhale, fold. Inhale, lift your spine halfway, weight is in the balls of the feet. And as you exhale, step back into plank. Pause here for an inhale breath. And as you exhale, shift your weight forward, lower all the way to the belly. Untuck the toes, heavy the lower body. Inhale, lift your heart and cobra. Draw the elbows into your sides. Exhale, release down, tuck the toes, lift the knees. And as you inhale, press up plank. Exhale, downward dog. We'll be here just a breath. As you inhale, gaze forward, bend your knees, lift your heels. And then step your feet between your hands, forward bend. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise. Exhale, hands to heart. We'll take that two more rounds, just gathering information and creating that stable, steady connection to breath. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, fold over your legs. Inhale, lift the spine halfway. Exhale, step back to plank. Pause for the inhale. As you exhale, shift weight forward, hug the elbows in, lower to chaturanga, shoulders level with the elbows. Option here to go straight into upward dog or come down for cobra. If you're an upward dog, the hips, the thighs, the knees, shins are off the mat, stretching the legs back. Exhale, downward facing dog. Enjoy a breath here, in through the nose, out through the mouth, sigh. <sighs> Inhale, gaze forward, bend your knees, lift your heels. And as you exhale, step your feet between your hands, forward bend. Inhale, lift halfway, and exhale, fold. Rising with the arms, inhale, and exhale, hands to heart. Last round, inhale, arms reach. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Feel that rhythmic connection. Exhale, step back, plank. Pause for the inhale. And as you exhale, lower down. Inhale to your back bend. And exhale, downward dog. So this opening movement is simple enough that we can just use it to connect to the breath so that the mind can arrive and remain clear. As you inhale, gaze forward, bend your knees, lift your heels. Exhale, step the feet between your hands. Inhale, lift halfway. And as you exhale, fold. Inhale, rise, reach, stretch the arms up. And exhale, hands to heart. <laughs> So we should start to feel a bit of heat from the inside out now. Strong breath. We'll move through sun A to get us back to downward dog now. Inhale, stretch your arms overhead. And exhale, fold over your legs. Inhale, rise halfway. And exhale, step back to plank. Pause for the inhale breath here. And as you exhale, lower into your chaturanga, maybe half push up. Inhale, back bend, cobra or upward dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Enjoy a breath in. Slow breath out. Step your feet closer together. As you inhale, stretch your right leg up and back. On the exhale, coil through the belly, hug your knee into chest. 
Twice more, inhale, reach. Keep the hips square. Exhale, knee to chest, round and coil in. Last one like this. And as you exhale, hug in. Step the right foot through between your hands. Find your strongest lunge here. So right shin moves forward as the left heel dials back. The right hip descends as the left thigh becomes buoyant. So you have these four key actions of lunge. Big inhale. Start to feel the feet press down into the mat. Let your fingertips grow light. Reach the arms back. Inhale, sweep them forward overhead. Lengthen out of the, the hips. So stretch both sides of the waist. Then release left hand down to your mat inside your right foot and begin to turn the body to the right. Open the right arm towards the sky. Can you level the hips here? So the right hip might want to lift up. Can you drop it down, keep that stable lunge and then rotate. So the upper body rotating now, the lower body stable. These rotating postures, twists have kind of a stable point from which you can elongate and rotate into the axis of the spine. Big breath in, slow breath out. As you're ready, release your right hand down to the mat. Heel toe your right foot to the outer edge of your mat so that both hands are inside. Find lizard pose. Can you let the hips melt down but keep the pelvis buoyant so we're not collapsing into the pelvis here? Step your feet back into plank. Hips stay nice and low. From here, lower one forearm to the mat and the other forearm to the mat. Forearm plank. Again, the hips one straight line. We'll engage in some core activation here. Dip your right hip down to the mat. And then the left. So this time, the upper body is stable. The lower body rotates. So we have that point at the navel that creates our, our anchor. And then we rotate around the axis of the spine, letting the hips twist side to side here. Stay strong in the belly, strong in the arms. Come back through center. And then one arm at a time, press back into plank and downward dog. Switching to the left side now as you're ready, inhale, left leg stretches up and back. The hips stay nice and square, heavy your right heel to the earth. Exhale, coil in, knee to nose, round your spine. Inhale, radiate out. Exhale, gather strength, press into your hands. Inhale, reach back. Last time like this, exhale, coil in, press between your hands to really create space. Step your left foot through into your lunge. Again, the four key actions of lunge, the left shin forward, right heel back, left hip crease descends, the right thigh stays buoyant. Grow light in your fingertips, stretch your arms back in space. Soften the shoulders away from the ears, keep that back leg super strong. Inhale, reach the arms forward, leaning lunge, lengthen the side bodies, the side channels of the spine. Release your right hand down to the mat. Begin to turn your left shoulder open. So you're stacking the shoulders here as the hips stay nice and square. Low to the earth, hug energy to the midline so that squeeze of the thighs to the center allows you to rotate deeper in the upper body. Create that action here. Big breath in, slow breath out. Let the left hand come down, heel toe your left foot out to the side, coming into lizard pose. Just for a breath, send the heart forward and up, and then begin to step back into plank. We'll lower once again to the forearms. This time, turn your right fingertips toward your left elbow so that your right forearm is parallel to the short edge of your mat. Roll open into side plank. So here now we are creating stability in the lower body and then we'll rotate, wrap your left arm under and reach up, inhale. Exhale, wrap it under, keep that straight line in the body and open. Last time, exhale, wrap that left arm under and reach up. So creating strength in the belly here before we begin our flow practice. And then we'll exchange, bring your left forearm down, 
Sweep your right arm open, stack the hips, stack the left shoulder over the elbow, and then we'll wrap under here. So as you exhale, wrap the right arm under the body and open back up. Feel that fluid motion. So there's not really any hard edges here. We sort of just breathe open and exhale, close. Come back through center here. Both forearms come down to the mat. Keep your belly strong, one hand at a time, press up into plank and downward facing dog. Enjoy a breath or two here, just notice how you feel. The body should be a bit warm, maybe your breath rate elevated, just a touch. As you inhale, gaze forward between your hands, lift your heels, bend your knees. You might take a few hops here, hopping heels to sitting bones, moving the shoulders directly over the wrists. And then pause at the bottom, keep that buoyancy, that lightness, and step or hop your feet to your hands. Inhale, lift halfway, and exhale, fold. Inhale, rise, reach the arms up, and as you exhale, the hands come down through heart center. Relax your hands by your sides. Enjoy a breath or two here. And we are preparing to enter our dynamic flow practice now. For this, we'll step the big toes to touch. Chair is going to be our entry point, kind of our initiation to each wave of flow. As you're ready, inhale, sit the hips back and down, reach the arms up into a chair. Sit back and low, feel the hip creases descend, weight is mostly in the heels, your toes are light. Cross your right wrist in front of left, spin the palms toward each other. So if you have tight shoulders, you can always take a cactus shape in the arms. Otherwise, a bit of a stretch, twisting at the wrists, palms together, reach overhead. As you lift the fingertips skyward, can you sink the hips earthbound? Big breath in. And then as you exhale, circle the arms back, down, and around. And we'll switch now so that your left wrist is forward, right wrist behind. Twisting at the wrists, the palms touch. Stretch the fingertips up as the hips move down. Big breath in. And then as you exhale again, circling the arms down, around, and up, chair pose. Then we'll shift weight into the left foot, begin to lift the right knee into chest. Find that tall spine here. The hips are level, the shoulders are even and relaxed. Reach your arms straight out in front of you. Press the palms into each other. And then from that place of strength, of action in the hands. Keep that in the arms. The arms stay strong as you rotate open. The right hand reaches back. Let your left fingertips find the outside of your right knee, standing twist. So can you create tree roots in your left foot? That creates stability. And notice one straight line from the ankle to the hips, shoulders, and crown. So we're not leaning back or forward. Imagine a gentle palm pressing your right hand away. And then we'll slowly come back through center. Let your knee stay lifted. Option here to extend that right leg straight out. Gathering strength in the right quad, the thigh. And then as you exhale, airplane pose. Sweep that right arm back, stretch the fingertips behind you. Level the hips. Energy to the midline. Big breath in. Slow breath out. Begin to reach your hands for the earth. Touch your right toes to the mat. And with an inhale, sweep your left leg up and back. Gaze forward between your thumbs. Lift onto the right toes. So lift your right heel. Bend your right knee deeply and feel a bit of buoyancy here. We're going to shift the shoulders over the wrists as we leave the right toes, lift them up into the air and switch legs. So we'll be here for just a few rounds, just becoming playful, seeing if you can have some hang time where both feet are lifted. The next time your right leg is up, pause here. 
big inhale breath. And then exhale, hug your right knee into your chest. Create space by pressing into the hands. Step your right foot through. Finding your lunge here. As you inhale, stretch the arms back. Reach them forward, leaning lunge. Keep that length, slowly rise into high lunge. So here, you can add a gentle bend into the back of the knee if this feels like a lot in the SI joint or in the hip flexors but really create that strong, stable base here. Reach the arms out in front of you. Find that magnetizing of the hands. So you press the hands. That creates strength in the upper body. Use that strength now as you rotate open. Right hand reaches back. Can you use the belly to make the twist happen? So in these open twists where we're not using any limbs for leverage, requires a lot of strength in the abdomen. Use that here, big breath in. As you exhale, hands meet in prayer. This time, press your right hand into left to leverage a deeper twist. As you do that, squeeze the inner thighs to the midline. That creates your stable base and allows you to rotate. On your next exhale, take your left elbow, hover it to the outside of your right knee. So there's a tendency to want to hook it and then force the twist to happen. Can we create strength here first? So wrapping the left low ribs underneath you and then allowing the elbow to connect. Press your right hand into left. Move your thumbs toward your sternum. Maybe send the gaze up. Keep the hips nice and level here. Slowly unwrap the arms. Let the right hand come down. Hands frame your foot. Back toes grow light. Shift the weight into your front foot. Standing splits. Lift the spine halfway here. Inhale. As you exhale, tap your left knee to the back of your right leg, the calf. Inhale, re-extend. Exhale, tap. So lots of strength now in that standing right leg. Inhale, open. Exhale, tap. This time, inhale, standing splits. And as you exhale, take your right knee, excuse me, left knee to the outside of your right foot. We'll lower all the way down to a seat. So a bit of a tricky transition here coming into our seated twist. The right foot is to the outside of left knee. Left leg tucked underneath you. Level the shoulders. As you inhale, left arm stretches high. Create that same action now as we rotate. Use the belly first. Press into your right foot and then use that counter action to create the twist. Right fingertips behind you, shoulders directly over the hips. Let your left elbow come to the outside of right knee, left hand to heart. With every inhale, create length between the bones of the spine, stretching from the hips to the crown. And with every exhale, rotating into that space. Maybe gaze over your right shoulder. With your next inhale, gaze forward. Slowly release the twist. Another tricky transition coming up. And just stay with it. Use whatever support that you need. If you can, we're going to keep the hands to heart. If you need the earth for support, bring your hands out in front of you. Begin to shift the weight forward into your right foot and slowly come up to kneeling and then back to our standing splits. Excellent work. Release your hands to the mat. Big in breath. Exhale, hug left knee to chest. Slowly rise. We're into side two now. Arms reach. Bring your hands out in front of you. Press the palms to activate the arms. Keep the belly drawing into the spine. Wrap from the pubic bone all the way to the breastbone. And then begin to twist open. Left arm reaches out to the side. Find that straight line from the heel to the hips to the shoulders and crown. Let your right hand find the crease of your left knee. And then find your deeper twist here. Hug energy of the thighs to the midline and rotate deeper. Soften the shoulders away from the ears. As you inhale back through center, arms reach. Option here to straighten that left leg out. See if you can keep it in the horizontal plane. And then exhale, warrior three, airplane arms, stretch back. Nice big breath here. Let your hands touch down. 
Left toes slowly lower to the mat. Press into your hands, send your right leg up and back. Gaze forward between your thumbs, bend your left knee, lift your left heel. Just a few hops here, again, switching the legs in midair, finding some hang time where you're balancing on the hands. Keep the belly strong, keep your breath fluid. The next time your left leg is high, pause here. And as you exhale, step the left foot through between your hands. Nice strong lunge, fingertips grow light. Reach the arms back behind you. Inhale, sweep those arms overhead. Lengthen the side waist. And then rise into high lunge. Again, making any adjustments that you need for the pelvis to be level here. So that might be a gentle bend in the back knee, or you might be able to stretch it straight and strong. Let your arms stretch out in front of you. Press your palms into each other. Soften the shoulders away from the ears. Big breath in. And then hug energy of the legs to the midline. Slowly begin to twist open. Same key actions here. Belly is strong. Nice big breath. And then exhale the hands, press into each other. Use your left hand, pressing into right, right into left to create a deeper twist. And then with your next exhale, shift the weight forward. Find that leaning lunge shape. Wrap the right low ribs underneath you and hover for a moment. Resist the urge to create that, that hook right away. And then as you have that strength, lightly rest the right elbow to the outer left knee. Now begin to press the left hand into right. Hug the inner thighs together. Draw the belly in, lengthen the sides of the waist. Last big breath here. Slowly begin to unravel the arms. Let the left hand come down. Hands frame your front foot. Shift the weight forward and back here. And then begin to transfer weight from your right foot to your left, standing splits. Big breath in. Slow breath out. Take a deep inhale. And as you exhale, tap your right knee to the back of your left leg, maybe even the ankle. Inhale, re-extend, lengthen the right leg. Exhale, bend deeply into the right knee, tap. Inhale, reach. And exhale, connect, coil in. Last one here, inhale. And as you exhale, take your right knee now to the outside of the left foot. Let your back foot come down, shin releases, slowly lower into your seated twist. So the left foot out to the side of the right knee, lengthen out of the hips, shoulders are nice and relaxed. Right arm stretches overhead, big inhale. Press through the left foot to keep your lower leg stable, and then begin to twist to the left. Left fingertips can come behind you. Once you have that strength in the belly here, then begin to take the right elbow to the outside of left knee. Right hand can find the heart here. A few slow breaths in this rinsing twist. And gaze forward, inhale. Begin to release the twist. The hands can be out in front of you. Begin to shimmy your left foot towards the front of your mat. Other option is to go unsupported with the hands pressing at the heart. Shift your weight forward. Lift up into standing splits. Big breath in. Slow breath out. Slowly rise. Take that right knee with you. And then as you exhale, sit low into your chair, both feet on the ground. Inhale, breath. Exhale, let the hands reach out in front of you. Press the palms into each other. Same twist, we've been here before, just a different arrangement in the legs. With your inhale, open the twist. So notice the torso is going to want to lean forward. Can you keep it upright at first? Create that twist in the belly with length in the sides of the waist. Then bring the hands to touch. As you exhale, take the left elbow to hover outside the right knee. Once you're there, your deepest rotation, then hook the elbow. Press right hand into left, stack the shoulders. Can you 
Let the knees be square to the front. So notice if your left knee wants to jut forward, can you draw it back with strength? Come through center, inhale. Exhale, hands reach out in front of you. Press the palms, activate the arms. As you inhale, open twist. Coil the belly in, squeeze the knees together. Take your hands to heart center. Continue rotating with the strength of the belly and then hover your right elbow to the outside of left knee. Wrap the right low ribs underneath you, you got this. And then hook the elbow here. Gaze down at your toes, your knees. Can you square the legs? Keep that stable foundation. And then press the left hand into right. Broaden the shoulders, soften them away from the ears. Maybe gaze up toward the sky. Slowly release, come through chair, inhale. And we'll give the legs a rest. Rise to stand, let your arms rest by your sides. Shake it out here for a breath or two. And we'll continue our flow practice now. So as you're ready, begin to lift the right knee into chest. The arms come along with you. From here, hug the shin into your chest. This might be your option here, separation in the thigh bones. Maybe you been, begin to clasp the sole of the foot. Keep the shoulders relaxed. If that continues to feel good, you might start to extend the right leg any amount. Keep the inner thigh wrapping forward, internal rotation here. And then maybe you begin to straighten that leg all the way. Tree roots in the left standing leg. You can take one hand to hip if that feels good for balance. Steady your gaze. And then from here, we are going to let go of that foot and use the strength in the low belly to keep it elevated. Release that hand. Excellent work. And then send that right leg back. Arms reach behind you, airplane. Hands touch down, right toes to the mat. Press into your hand, send your left leg up and back. Gaze between your thumbs, lift your right heel, bend your knee. Just once here, hop switch. Left foot is down, right leg is high. And as you exhale, step your right foot through between your hands. Let the back heel turn flat. Front heel bisects the back arch, so the outer edge of your back foot parallel with the short edge of your mat. From here, we're entering triangle pose from this nice and low position. So you can take your hand to a block, to your mat on the inside or outside, maybe even to your shin. We'll take, our, take the left hand to your left hip, begin to stack the shoulders, stack the hips. Wrap the left sitting bone underneath you. Any amount, begin to straighten that right leg, triangle pose. For me, hand to shin feels best, maybe even on a block. Lengthen the right side waist out of the hip crease. Big breath in, slow breath out. So here, really rooting down through the four, at, four corners of your front foot, micro bend in that front knee. And then slowly begin to deepen the bend in that front knee, coming back into warrior two in the legs. Stretch your right fingertips out in front of you. Transfer weight from left foot to right foot. Begin to hover that left leg behind you, half moon B. Stack shoulders, stack hips. Make sure that as you gaze down the front line of your body, you can see your toes wiggling out of the corner of your vision. You can stay here, maybe reach the arm up. Another option is to bend that top knee, reach for the outer edge of your foot. Find spaciousness, openness here. And then slowly release. This is the, the challenging part, slow and controlled. Begin to take your left foot down to the mat. Left hand finds the earth. Pivot on the ball of the back foot. And then here, we're coming into another stretch for the IT band. So take your hands, walk them over to the right. Begin to lift the heels, pivot on the ball mounds of your feet, and then let the knife edges of your feet come down. So it's like wide-legged forward bend, but you have the legs crossed. You can even begin to press the right foot into the mat and then straighten the right leg any amount. So you really wanna feel this in the outer legs here. See if you can lengthen the torso out of the hips and maybe fold a bit deeper. 
Last big breath. And exhale. And begin to unwind here, coming back into your lunge. Transfer weight from your left foot to your right, coming into standing splits. And as you exhale, hug your right knee into chest, excuse me, left knee into chest, and slowly rise. Coming into our second side now, hug the left shin with your hands into your chest. Separate the thigh bones here. Create that stable gaze. So I notice as soon as my gaze starts to waver, my attention gets diverted, and you find your balance is compromised as a result. So find your focus here. Your options are to stay here, just creating that strength and stability. You can start to wrap the hands around the left foot, tree roots in your right leg. Keep that strong and grounded. Shoulders stay relaxed, any amount begin to straighten the left leg. As best as you can, keep the body upright. You can bring right hand to hip if that feels good and then draw the left shoulder back in space. So now our challenging isometric hold here, preparing to release the left fingertips. Let your left leg float. Nice job. Send the left leg back in space. Warrior three with airplane arms. Touch the hands down, left toes, find the mat. Send your right leg up and back. Gaze forward between your thumbs, shift the shoulders over the wrists. Left heel lifts, left knee bends. One hop switch here. Big inhale. And as you exhale, step the left foot through between the hands. Back heel turns flat, warrior two in the legs. Wrap your left sitting bone underneath you. Find that nice plane where the shoulders and hips are stacked. Let your right hand find your right hip. And then the position of your left hand is wherever it needs to be to support your triangle pose. For me, that's on the left shin. Begin to straighten that left leg any amount. Stack the shoulders. Lengthen evenly, left side to right side. You can create as much distance as possible between left hip crease and left armpit. Soften the shoulders, micro bend in the left knee. Press evenly through both feet here. And then gaze down at your left toes. Bend into the left knee, reach the left fingertips out in front of you. Transfer weight from right foot to left, stack the hips, half moon B. You can stay here, maybe reach the arm high. You also have the option for Chandra Chapasana, or this standing half bow, reach for the outer edge of your right foot. Make sure that your right hip is directly over the ankle, so you're shifting weight into the ball mound of that left foot. Slowly unravel here. Let the right toes touch down. Hand comes down to frame your foot. Pivot on the ball of the back foot, coming back into your lunge. Walk your hands to the left. So lifting on both heels so we have this, this ability to pivot and rotate. And then turn your body towards the long edge of your mat to the left. Finding a stretch in the outer legs here. Stretch the crown away from the hips. And then can you experiment, just kind of play with the sensation, maybe bending into the knees, straightening the legs, maybe pressing the inner edge of the left foot down and lifting it back up. We'll slowly unwind, come back to the front of your mat. Shift the weight forward into your left foot, lift the right leg, and then slowly hug right knee into chest, arms reach. Exhale, release, hands and feet to the mat. Pause for a breath, shake it out. We have one more working wave here before our cooling sequence. So I'll turn to face you just to demonstrate this next posture and chair pose. So I'll be mirroring you in movement now. As you inhale, find chair. Exhale, release your hands out in front of you. Find your twist, so twist open to the right. Let your hands come to heart center. So we're entering the twist very mindfully here rather than rushing. So left elbow hooks to the outside of right knee. Gaze down at your toes. Lift your heels a lot. Lower your hips to your heels. Keep the legs squeezing together, keep this twist. 
So here we're coming into side crow. You can turn your hands to face the short edge of your mat, fingertips facing that direction. Keep this deep twist. As you exhale, begin to shift weight into your hands and notice you're only resting on the left hand. So the, the hip, the right hip is free. Shift the weight forward, coil through the belly, lift heels to the sitting bones, stretch your heart out and away. And then maybe you begin to lift the heels off the mat, the toes off the mat in side crow. So it's that prayer twist tipped on its side there, supporting yourself with your hands. Slowly come out, gather your breath. Let there be no rush. We'll come up through center, back through chair. As you exhale, hands reach forward, press your palms. This time, twisting open to the left. Let your hands connect. Take your right elbow to the outer edge of left knee. Gaze down at your toes, square the hips. Shift the weight into the ball mounds of your feet and lower your hips to your heels, coming into a revolved ball pose here. Let your hands come down beside you. Keep that deep twist. So you want your torso to be able to turn all the way to the short edge of your mat. And we'll take the hands a bit out in front of you. Keep that connection of your right elbow to left knee. And then begin to shift the weight into your hands. Send your heart out and forward where you want to go. And then slowly the feet grow light. Begin to stack the hips. Squeeze the energy of the legs to the midline. So this is side crow here. You can come in and out, get playful. And release. Take your time coming out. Big breath, gather it here. Come through center chair pose. And as you exhale, rise. So I'll turn now once again to the short edge of the mat. As we enter our final journey, through these deep twisting postures. With your inhale, right knee hugs to chest. Find eagle pose, cross right leg over left, right arm under left. So here, all the energy to the midline. Can you mirror the action in your legs with the upper body? So hug the inner upper arm bones toward each other, but then broaden the shoulders apart. Press the palms together, big inhale. And then you can kickstand your right toes beside you for an added pillar of support. Let your shoulders stay over your hips, begin to twist to the right. Release the arms out to T. And then from here, lifting the right knee, let your right knee and left hand connect. So it's just like we did in the very beginning here. Now we're adding on. You can crawl your fingertips, left fingertips toward the outer edge of right foot. Keep the twist, and then any amount begin to straighten that right leg. Revolved big toe pose. Lots of stretch in the outer right leg here. Big breath in, slow breath out. Keep that bind in the leg. Begin to turn forward, finding big toe pose here. And then same thing, we'll just release the arms, let the leg hover and send that leg back. Hands touch down, right toes touch down. Send your left leg up and back. Gaze forward, bend your right knee, lift your heel, hop switch. And then as you exhale, hug right knee into chest, step your right foot through between your hands. The back heel turns flat and heel toe your foot a little bit closer so you have a shortened stance. As you inhale, halfway lift the spine, and then from your right hip crease, begin to straighten the right leg in pyramid pose. Wrap the inner thighs back in space and then hug the legs energetically to the center. Press evenly through the knife edges of both feet, inner and outer. And then here, it might be nice to have a block if you have one for your left hand. You can take your left hand to the inside or the outside of your right foot, depending on how your right leg feels. And then bring your right hand to heart. Move your heart into your right hand as you rotate 
to the right side. Keep the inner thighs wrapping back in space. Hug the energy of the legs to the center. Right arm stretches overhead, revolve triangle pose. Find stability here first. And then gaze down at your right toes. Bend into your right knee, crawl your left fingertips out in front of you. Then begin to lift the left leg up and back, revolved half moon. You have the same options here. You can keep the limbs outstretched or bend into your left foot, your left knee, begin to find the left foot with your right hand. Slowly unravel. Let your right hand touch down, standing splits. As you inhale, really reach through the left toes and exhale, tap the knee to the back of your right leg. Twice more, inhale and exhale. Inhale, reach up. This time as you exhale, left knee comes to the outside of right foot and we'll slowly lower into our seat. Coming into cow face pose this time, so stacking the knees, crossing at the upper inner thighs. This might be where you stay. This might be a lot of sensation for the hips. If you can, you might fold forward, but add some gentle pressure to the legs to keep that fixed point in space. So this is a great stretch for the outer legs, the outer hips. And then slowly coming back up. Let your right foot come out in front of you. Hands can be to heart or reaching out in front for extra support. Slowly begin to unravel, send the left leg up and back. Hands touch down. On your exhale, hug the left knee into chest. And we're coming into eagle pose now on the left side. Cross left leg over right, left arm under right. Square the hips, square the shoulders. Sink the hip creases back and down. Find your steady gaze. Can you move the shoulders over the hips? Big breath in. Slow breath out. Begin to kickstand your left toes beside you. From the belly, begin to rotate to the left. Find that deep twist. Unravel the arms here. Big inhale. And then as you exhale, lift your left knee so that it connects with your right hand. Same position we had in the beginning, and you can be here. You might notice a bit more free rotation happening, happening in the spine now. The next deeper option, take your right hand to the outside of left foot, and any amount, begin to straighten that left leg. So we're creating the same key actions as in revolve triangle here. You might notice one side a bit more challenging than the other. Being gentle with yourself and allowing that to arise and dissolve. Begin to take your left hand towards your right foot, maybe cross at the wrists. Bit of a stretch for the upper back here. <laughs> Find your balance. And then release, let that leg float. Send the left leg back, arms reach behind you. Let the hands touch down, left toes touch down. Send your right leg up and back. Gaze forward, bend your left knee, lift your left heel, hop switch. Hug your left knee into chest. Left foot steps through between your hands and find a bit of a shortened stance here. Let the right heel lower down. So you wanna have the inner edges of your feet more or less aligned. All 10 toes point to the front of your mat. And then from your left hip crease, begin to stretch back. Straighten that left leg. Pyramid pose. We're almost to the end of our flow here. These deeper journeys, deeper postures, they require quite a bit of chiseling away. So we're just allowing for that extra space here, a bit of a longer practice. But let your mind... Stay with you till the end. As you inhale, lift the spine halfway. Keep your right hand on the mat, square the hips. Touch your left hand to your heart, and then move your heart into your hand, rotate the upper body. And so for me, this side 
much more challenging. I feel some tightness in the left hip. So that's just offering information, a data point. And then maybe begin to straighten the left arm, finding your deepest twist. Squeeze the inner thighs to the midline. Press your feet into the mat. Imagine you're sort of rotating the inner thighs back in space toward the back of your mat. Gaze down at your left toes. Begin to bend into the left knee. Crawl your right fingertips forward. Light weight in the right foot, and then the right leg floats off the mat. Find your revolved half moon here. Again, your options are to keep the limbs outstretched or maybe bend your right knee, reach for the right foot with your left hand. Gather here so you can bend into both knees deeply and then re-extend, rotate, find your expression here. Gently release. Let the left hand come down. Big breath in, standing splits. And as you exhale, tap the right knee to the back of the left calf. Inhale, re-extend deeper and deeper into standing splits. Exhale, tap. Last time, re-extend. And tap, this time the right knee coming to outside of left foot. And begin to stack the knees, find cow face pose now on the second side. Shoulders over the hips at first. Just find that, that stable base from which to start. And then you can press into your ankles, gently lower forward any amount. So for me on this side, this is about where I'm going to stay. You can always bring your hands out in front for support. Enjoy several deep breaths here. And then we'll slowly come back up. Step your left foot out in front of you. Hands either to heart or to the front of your mat. Begin to shift the weight into your left foot and slowly come up so you can come on to the right shin and find these checkpoints all the way up. Lots of work in the standing leg. And rise. Right knee to chest, arms overhead. And as you exhale, let that go. Arms by your sides, shake it out, sway your hips. We've made it through our standing flow, shifting now into more of our cooling space. And just give yourself a moment of celebration, of acknowledgement. These twists are very cleansing, very rinsing for the spine. And they can be energizing, but in a very steady way. So it's different than back bends where we feel a rush of internal energy. Instead, it's kind of, it's more like green tea. It's slow and steady. We feel it sort of at the end, we're just more awake than how we began. So from here, stretching the arms up and overhead, get a little bit of a side bend, a wiggle from side to side. And as you exhale, fold. Inhale, lift the spine halfway. And exhale, step back into tabletop. Sway your hips from side to side. Let your knees stay directly under the hips. Lower down into puppy pose, stretching the fingertips forward. So here we're really focusing on lengthening the sides of the waist to kind of unravel all the rotation, the twisting. Begin to walk your hands over to the left. And stretch the right side waist. And then back over to the right. And then slowly back through center, come into a kneeling position. We're going to enjoy a very gentle version of camel pose, just again to lengthen and create space in the belly where we were once contracted and kind of moving inward. Now we're countering that with a gentle back bend. So let your hands come to your sacrum, your low back. Fingers can point up or down. Hug the elbows into center, into each other. Imagine a string connecting them. Roll the shoulders back and down. Draw your low ribs and your hip points toward each other without rounding the upper chest. So creating integration in the belly. Take an inhale and exhale. 
With your next inhale, begin to lift up and out of the hips. Lean into your hands, send your thighs forward. Move your sitting bones toward your inner knees. And then magnetize your sacrum towards the earth. Let it be heavy. And slowly come up. Once again, walking your hands toward the top of your mat. Swaying the hips side to side. And from here, we'll lower forearms to the earth and then let your hips come down. Stretch the legs back in space. Drag your forearms toward your hips to move the heart forward between the upper arms. Circle the head nice and slow in one direction. And then the other. And we'll take a prone twist here. So as you're ready, letting your forehead rest on your hands, sweep your right knee out to the side. Allow your arms to come to a cactus shape or even to T and bring your right ear to the mat. And just allow the right hip to open in support of all of the activation we had in the hip flexors here now. We're allowing them to lengthen and to let go. So notice if you feel any gripping, can you release it here? As you start to come part way up, lengthen your left arm out in front of you. Begin to rotate on to the left side. Keep your right knee bent and just find a spinal twist here. So now allowing the body to open skyward and let your knee be a bit far from your chest. So it's really a passive twist, creating lots of space for the belly and the breath. Enjoy a few more rounds of breath. And then we'll unravel here, coming back onto the belly now for the second side. So you can rest your head in your hands, take your left knee out to the side. And really aim to keep the hip points square to the ground, pressing into the earth. And then you can bring your left ear to your mat and rest it here. Arms are either to T or to cactus. And just letting the hips and the belly feel heavy. And just allowing yourself to receive all of the cleansing the clearing that happens with deep twists. Come through center now, stretch your right arm overhead, turn onto your right side, and then allow the left knee to cross your body as you lie on your back, gentle spinal twist. So rotation creates deeper mobility in the spine. It's a very functional key action that allows us to move more freely throughout our day. So just noticing how your spine feels here. Does it feel a bit tingly or a bit warm? Then from here, just rolling all the way onto the back, hug your knees into chest. We'll have our rest period now for a minute or two more. So find a comfortable position on your back, maybe with the knees together, feet apart, or the feet together, knees apart. And let your hands rest on your body wherever they land. Release any control you have over the breath. Observe its natural rhythm natural cadence and allow your thoughts to rise and fall away notice that if you try to follow a thought it might disappear our thoughts have 
a hard time with standing <laughs> scrutiny when we really try to study them. They lose their power. Can you do that here? Just create a bit of space between the appearance of your thoughts. So just let them be at a distance, almost as if you were watching them on a canvas. And as always, I invite you to stay here in this final resting posture as long as you can, and certainly as long as you need. After a strong practice, this integration space is so important. So if you can, let that continue, let there be no rush as you prepare to move into the rest of your day. So whether you're staying or journeying with me up to a seat, just continue to keep that slow, steady breath. Let the gaze stay soft or the eyes stay closed. And give yourself a few moments to really commit to your breath and commit to how you want to show up. And I want to thank you so much for flowing with me today. It has been such a joy. And thank you for letting your body be moved. <laughs>